Hey there guys, this is NDM here. Um, continuing on from the last episode, we are uh, making a start on the 8th Sanctuary. I have enough to record one more video for today and that will be it. And I shall re resume recording tomorrow. Alright, so in the last episode we explored the Lost Underworld and came across the 8th Sanctuary. So in this episode we're going to make a start on it. Um, there's actually quite a few items in here to be had. Um, but a lot of them aren't important. Um, well, the speed capsule is important, so we'll give that to Tyler. Uh, who who actually picked that up? Was it Shulk who picked that up? Yeah, it was Shulk. Okay, we'll use that on Tyler. There's also a moonbeam gun in here. There's a bag of dragonite in here. Surprisingly enough, I actually did not know there was a bag of dragonite in this dungeon. Um, there is also... What else? I said the moonbeam gun, the bag of dragon eye, and there is a horn of life. Yeah, there is a horn of life in here. But we don't need the horn of life. Um, it's not really important. Alright, so let's actually battle some enemies and see what we've got. Alright, these things are actually really surprisingly quite easy. These are one of the easiest enemies in the Well, it actually is the easiest enemy in the dungeon. Because you fight these other enemies called Pyromaniacs, and they do a lot more damage than these guys, and they're a lot more hard to kill um, than these. Because all you got to do is freeze on these, and they die just instantly. And they don't use PSI either, as far as I know. They just use regular attacks and um, some other things as well. Oh, go away, Dad. You're not doing this to me again. Not, not now. No, I don't need a break. Alright, I think the bag of Dragonite is actually up this rope, but there's a lot of enemies here, and I know that one of them's going to be, like, the Pyromaniacs that I was talking about. Uh, I don't really want to fight Pyromaniacs, but... Uh, God. Because really, you want to save as much PP as you can before you get to the boss in this place, because I'm telling you, the boss in this dungeon is the hardest boss in any sanctuary you've ever came across in the game so far. It will totally kick your ass if you don't have the right equipment. But luckily we got plenty of... Uh, I think we got... We got super bombs and uh, the heavy bazooka. I think we still got that. So. And a multi-bottle rocket, I think. Do I? No, I used the, mul I used the last multi-bottle rocket on that Starman Deluxe, didn't I? Yeah, so Shulk's now level 74, so that's something. Juno's 64 as well. Yeah, they're all getting up on the levels now. Juno's caught up sign like super fast, you know, like really quick. Because um, when he joined, he was like level 18, I think, and now all of a sudden he's up there with um, Shulk, Cassia, and um, Tyler. Alright, okay, what you want to get rid of here is the evil elemental. Because the evil elemental can possess you and you don't want that. <laughs> so make sure you get rid of that first. I think freeze works on them as well. Okay, maybe it doesn't. But it, de it solidified it, so that's something. Can't shot, get critical. No, oh, never mind. Yeah. Wasn't lucky enough. Okay, that's not good. He's edging closer, so that means he's pre he's preparing for an attack. Um, I could try thunder, I guess. See what that does. Thunder did 82. Nah, that's not too bad. I think fire works on them then, which is kind of weird because we're in a fire dungeon. So, what the hell? What's up with that? Yeah, we're in a fire dungeon, and a fire attack based move does um, super damage against a fire type enemy. Well, I don't know. It's not really a fire type, is it? It's a ghost type. So. But still, ghost types are usually weak to. Um, usually weak to freeze. Alright, we'll use. Um, I'm always tempted to use Star Storm actually, but I'm not going to. 
gotta play this smart because I don't want to. I don't want to use Star Storm and then get to the boss and then have no PP left for Juno, because Juno is um, one of the main men who's gonna kind of back us up with the health situation to to get us all healed up and things. And now Cassie just took a whole hell of a load of damage, and now so is Juno probably. Oh God, Cassia. Well, it doesn't matter because Cassie is gonna die, so the other the possession isn't gonna work. So I had you fooled. Oh crap! Why do I use Star Storm? I keep tapping the A button too fast. Ah, oh, need to stop doing that. That's causing problems. That is the last time I use Star Storm. Okay. I better make sure that I don't do it in any other battle. Because that was a stupid mistake. A stupid, stupid mistake. <laughs> yeah, that should not have happened. Um, I don't know what... Okay, here we go. We got a pyromaniac. What, what is it called? What is it called? A major psychic psycho. Okay, no, it's not... Yeah, but he has a brother called... A, I think it's called Pyro something. Um, alright, I don't know what to do here, uh, we'll, we'll have, uh, Shulk attack, and, um, yeah, actually, no, we'll do it the other way around, actually, we'll have, um, Shulk and Tyler attack that, and Juno can use Freeze, um, Freeze Beta on the Fire Dude. Let's see what that does. 169. Not really good. Yeah, this those soul consuming flames have such weak. Um, such weak defense. Yeah. And that should finish him. Yep. Turn him back to normal. Alright, so I'm going to get everyone healed up now because I might as well. I don't want Cassia to be dead when we get to the boss. Alright, okay, so. Healing Gamma. Get Juno healed up as well. Oh crap, I gotta get Cassia healed up too because she's on 61 HP and we don't want to get to the boss and have her so low on HP. That's uh, that's dangerous. <laughs> right, I think this is actually the Bag of Dragonite, so slowly get this and there we go. Bag of Dragonite. Shulk's got it. Alright, we might as well just keep it on Shulk then. Um, Well, the enemies in here aren't actually turning out to be as bad as I thought they would. Um, maybe it's just because we got all the equipment that we need in order to survive in this place, in this hell. And um, have him freeze as well on the major psychic psycho. He's used a shield, Amiga. Um, that still didn't help him because I did 628 damage and got critical. So yeah, your shield isn't going to save you this time, Buster. I can assure you on that. Oh right, okay. So as soon as we get out, we just get greeted with an e with an enemy, and it's a uh, evil elemental on its own. It's a single fight we got here. Um, I'm actually going to try and use fire and see how much damage it does, just to see. Because I'm pretty sure fire is going to do the most. Uh, yeah, see, 175 damage. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But he's dead.
Well, we should be able, even if uh, Cassia did get possessed, because we have a uh, healing Omega on Juno, so if we use that, um, it would get rid of her possession. All right, um, just bashing. That's what I did last time. And he's dead. This is actually going a lot smoother than I expected. I thought this. I, I thought we were going to be dying left, right, and center because I know that this place is so damn hard. And it is. It's not an easy dungeon to get through. You just got to add the right equipment and the right levels. Okay, here we go. We got we got both of them now. We got the two brothers. So uh, I'm gonna use the Monado power here, I think, and um, freeze cam. No, not freeze gamma. I'm not gonna go that OP. We'll use um, freeze beta and freeze beta again. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to do more damage against the red one, the freeze attack does anyway, than what it does on the major psychic psycho. See, the fire attacks are going to cause a problem for Cassia and uh, Juno, but it's not going to cause any problems for Shulk and, Sh Shulk and Tyler, because they've got the pendants, which, pro which protect them from the fire attacks. But... Cassia and Juno don't have those luxuries, unfortunately. Alright, um... Yeah, we'll just go regular attacks, I think, here. See if we can... Kill him this way. <laughs> oh, damn! Sheesh! Sheesh! Oh, that's painful! Eee! Damn! Freaking fire gamma, dude. Calm down there, bro. Talking about going overpowered. Just need to calm your tits. Because they're flying all over the place. <laughs> Shulk and his friends gain 23,000. Alright, okay. Now things are starting to get serious. Alright. I mean, I've got, I, I got cups of life noodles. I don't know why I'm not using those. Instead... So that'd probably be the best thing to do. Right, I'm going to go out with regular attacks here. I'm not going to even bother using PSI against this. Because it would be just a waste. Ooh, okay. Well, you're killing Cassie all the time. I mean, Cassie's died like five times now already. Seems like it. <laughs> now I have to use Healing Gamma to bring her back to life again. Or I can see if anyone's got a couple life noodles that they could use. Which would be most useful. Oh, Monado Amiga. Nice. Yay. Level 75. We learned um, uh, Monado Amiga. Right, she's got most of the life noodles. Does anyone else have any? Yeah, uh, Juno does, thankfully. So we'll bring her back to life using one of those. And that should bring her back to full health. Thank God. Alright. Yeah, Juno also needs healing, because uh, he's on 91 HP. Shot out a spray of fire. 313. Yeah, I didn't think these enemies were as tough as what they made. What? Like, I, I, I thought they barely ever attacked, they, you know. But obviously they do attack and they're doing crazy damage. Juno's on 1 HP, so he's struggling there. I have to bring you up to speed, my friend. Same for her as well. Okay, what's on the far end here? Shock up in the present, there is a Cherub's Band. Okay, I didn't know that that was there. Uh, the Cherub's Band, so let's see who's got the lowest defense. 164, 177. Right, okay, so that's definitely going to um, Shulk over here. 
So if it's a if it's a band, that means I have to get rid of the pixie bracelet. So I'll get shut of that and um, give him the cherubs band. So that'll bring him up to 174 defense. Nice. Okay, that's sweet. Let me guess. Oh no, it's actually one of these guys on their own. Hopefully it solidifies them, please. Oh, hang on a second. My freaking laptop's being a pain in the ass at the moment. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Just an application came up um, and decided to exit the emulator, so that I was pressing the X button and it wasn't actually doing anything. Right, hang on. Wait. Which way do we have to go here? I think it's this way, but I'm not sure. That... This is another one of those dungeons that's just one gigantic maze. You have to try and find your way around it. Now I don't see how that wasn't one from behind, but I'm not going to complain about it. <laughs> no use in complaining if something good's happened. Even if it, even if it does come across as a surprise. Yay, Tyler's now possessed, for crying out loud. Reached out with his icy hand, Tyler's body solidified. Well, that's going to have to go. Because I can't be dealing with possession in the boss fight. Because that's going to cause some serious problems, if that's the case. There is a present down there as well, which I'm going to get. And it's going to, um, that present holds the... Um, okay, that had no visible effect on Tyler. So, I'm guessing you can't get rid of possession. That's just my guess. So, we're just going to have to deal with it. Sadly. So, we'll use fire. He can still attack, I think, but... I'm pretty sure Tyler can still attack. I'm hoping he can. If not, then that really does suck. Yeah, you can attack. Alright, cool. Kind of getting a bit worried there. Because <laughs> we need Tyler for the multi-bottle rockets, you see. Um... Alright, I, I do see how we're going to get to the moonbeam. I do see how we're going to get to it. You have to go through the cave that's up ahead and then go down the rope. We should be able to trailblaze it through these enemies if we can get in the cave quick. There we go. Alright, I think it's... Ah, oh, damn it! Guys, seriously. Um, is there really any point in running away from... Actually, I'm going to make a cut, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so things in that fight didn't turn out to be too good. I mean, look at everyone. There's... Cassie is now dead again. Shulk. Tyler's now paralyzed. Yeah, things are looking tip-top shape at the moment, aren't they? I mean, I thought this dungeon wasn't going to be that bad. It, it wasn't that bad at the start, and now all of a sudden we're just getting totally trounced by all the enemies, trying to get all the presents and things. All right, I don't know if this is the way to get the... Yes, it is. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to get the moonbeam here. There's a moonbeam in, in, moon inside. Alright, so that, now we got to get rid of the baddest beam. Oh, you shouldn't throw away the baddest beam. Okay, so you can't get rid of it, apparently. Um, is there anything in here we can get rid of? Yeah, there is. We can use the rock candy on Cassia. Might as well. Cassia, Cassia's IQ went up by 1. 
I should have gave it to Tyler then, <laughs> shouldn't I? Um, so, where is it? Moonbeam gun. So then he can equip it. And uh, offense increases to 173. Nice. So he's evenly balanced in offense and defense now. His offense is 173, I think. Uh, yeah, 173, and his defense is 179. Or it's either the other way around. I think. How can I forget that quickly? I literally just looked at it just now. <laughs> Hang on a second. Um, Cassie needs healing. Yeah, his offense is 179. Yeah, his defense is 173. Yeah, it's the other way around. It's uh, Juno that has the highest defense on our team at the moment, currently as it stands. Alright, um, gonna go with a row of fire here. Actually, no. We're gonna get rid of the elemental ghost first. Because, um, it's probably the main priority. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll use freeze on it just to get rid of that. Soul consuming flame can get quite annoying sometimes. Especially when it uses that fire attack. That... Okay, I guess we're screwed. Well, everyone else is screwed. I think Juno is also. Oh no, he's not. He's not. Juno's not screwed. The evil elemental is dead, and so is the soul consuming flame. So, thankfully, Cassia didn't actually die from that battle. She nearly died, but she didn't. And she gained some experience points from it. So, yeah, she's actually missed out quite a lot of experience points in here because she's been dying all the time. But, yeah, at least she gained a level, that's all that matters. Alright, okay. And here we go guys, this is it, this is the boss, but there's also an enemy there, so we might actually have to fight that before we even fight the boss. But I might actually do this in the next episode, is fight the boss. Because it's actually quite a long boss, it has two phases to it. So I might actually do it in the next episode. Yeah, go out with regular attacks to kill this. Alright guys, I'm going to end off the episode here and continue on in the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Earthbound, we shall fight the final and 8th Sanctuary boss to get our last uh, melody, which will make up 8, which we can then use to go ahead and fight Gygus. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care everybody, see you in the next video, and goodbye.